Hello YouTube, this is the Omega831. Today I'm making this video to show you guys how to make a Minecraft 1.2.5 TechIt server with plugins already set up and permissions. Um, but before we get started, I just want to let you know we have a server of our, of our own that we'll be hosting. It's mc.neweraminecraft.com. I'll have uh, the IP in the description, so please join us. And also, we you can rent a server from us. The, uh, the website will be in the description as well. So if you want a 24-7 server with super fast connection and lots of RAM, check out our website. So anyways, uh, let's get on to the video. Look in the description and you will see the download link for the TechIt server package. Uh, what you do is um, download the server package and you'll need WinRAR to extract the folder onto your desktop. You'll ha there's a link in the description for WinRAR. Download the link or the WinRAR, install it, and then once you do that, you'll have a WinRAR file um, wherever you saved it to. If you saved it to your desktop, it'll look like a little bookshelf for books. And what you do is you open it, and you'll see this folder here called TechIt just drag it to your desktop so the folders there open the the folder like so and here you'll have some files the extra files um, these are the programs you can use uh, notepad plus plus is what we'll be editing YML files with for your plugins simple port forwarding this is for people who can't manually port forward it's an easy program to use and WinRAR uh, to extract um, stuff Okay, so Java. This is the Java that you'll need to install um, for 32. This is Java for 64. So um, I recommend installing both of them if you're not sure what you have. So just install both. And if you go on the TechIt server package itself, uh, here you'll see everything set up for you already. Um, if you don't want the, uh, actually, the world won't be here. Um, but I'm not going to delete this because I, I'm going to delete it before uh, I send it to you guys because I've been playing on it already but once you start the server um, it'll create a new world and you'll get a bunch of errors at the beginning but I'll go into that a little bit more detail in a few minutes um, learn how to use the plugins just read this uh, open it up and these are the different links just copy and paste these links into your web browser and it'll take you to the web website for the plugins and you can learn about them yourself ranks read this this tells you the different ranks that are set up for the permissions um, and then the readme file this has a lot of Q&A questions and answers to a lot of common questions and problems that people have and then the last but not least this is the launcher drag this onto your desktop because you'll need that to log in uh, to play on the TechIt server so now that we have that covered go into TechIt server and you can go into the um, plugins folder take a look at the plugins I've selected you can add more if you want but that's what I have there um, what else okay go into server uh, properties and edit with notepad plus plus change it to the way you want it um, you can change the MOTD and all that stuff the max players um, stuff like that okay so if you're using Hamachi for your server put the Hamachi IPv4 here if you're not using Hamachi and uh, you're just gonna do log log into the server manually uh, then just leave it blank okay and then everything else you can read for yourself it's pretty self-explanatory and so server properties there um okay so make sure you put your name in the ops text file and you can delete my name and spartan's name uh, in there um and then once you do that uh let's see here i think i think we have that's pretty much it and what you can do um oh, hold on I'm pretty sure 
Okay, so the tech it, this is the jar file. It's not craft. It is craft bucket compatible, but it's not exactly craft bucket. Okay, so now that you have that covered, click on launch, not the sh, but just launch the jar file. Um, but bef well, actually, before you do that, um, you can edit it. Edit it. Um, okay, so this is the amount of RAM. You can change this, uh, the number from 1G to 2G, 3G, 4G. Just uh, that depends on how much RAM you have. And to check how much RAM you have, just right click computer, go to server properties, or go to properties, and it tells how much RAM you have. So if you have 8 gigabytes, you should probably use 4. If you have 4 gigabytes, you should probably use 2. If you have 2 gigabytes, you should probably just use 1. And that's pretty much it. Then you would save changes. And then go ahead and launch the server. Okay. So like I said before, um, you'll see a bunch of errors because it's going to generate you a new world. Uh, my world... I, it's not going to be in there, so those errors are natural. Just let them, let it create the world. And while it's doing that, I'll show you how to port forward. If on Windows Vista 7, go to Start and type in CMD. If on XP, go to Start, go to Run, and then type CMD, and then type in IP config. Okay, so if you're using Hamachi or if you have Hamachi installed, um, just put the Hamachi IP in the server properties where it says IP address and server properties put it there uh, if you're not he if you don't have Hamachi uh, find your network here once you've typed IP config find your network and find the write down your default gateway and your IPv4 address once you have that information written down you can go ahead and exit this and then um, open up your web browser okay um... Hold on. Right. type in your default gateway hold on. oops you don't want to see that okay type in your default gateway Okay, and then log into your router. Some usernames are as you uh, admin. Um, sometimes the password is password. You can change those settings. Um, if if it's not that, then you'll have to contact your parents and see what the password and username is. Um, so go ahead and once you've logged in find port forwarding or port triggering or virtual servers it could be under a sub t a, a tab like advanced like mine is so once you found the port forwarding part or fo port triggering or whatever it's called on your router make sure the box is check marked give it a name and you're gonna have to port forward port 25565 for TCP and UDP some routers let you do it at the same time others you have to do it separately and then put your IPv4 um, in the IP address like that and um, that's pretty much it and then you save changes on your router let the router restart and then um, but if if you change the port in the server properties because you got the message saying um, failed to bind or um, port already in use or for whatever reason you had to change it, make sure you put that here instead of this. Okay, so um, once you've done that, you can go ahead and log into your server. Um, actually, hold on one more thing the the uh, IP that you give people will be um, if you go to Google or wherever and type in IP chicken uh, oops.
Okay, if you go to IP Chicken, click on the link. This is the IP you would give your friends to join. And um, actually, you yourself don't type that IP in when you log in. I'll show you what IP you do. Okay, so you run the Techit launcher or Technic launcher. Okay. And make sure you choose Techit from this list here. Just make sure there's going to be a blank box here. Just make sure it's Techit. Um, and then put in your login information and all that stuff. Go to Options. And this one, make sure it's uh, manual, manual Build Selection is selected. And then up here, make sure it's the 1.2.5 latest. And then click OK. And then log in. Takes a little while to log in, um, but give it a second. <laughs> okay, so go to multiplayer and here's my server but you type in localhost or your IPv4 address either one will work and you just connect okay so I've been playing with a friend already so this is the progress but um, you'll have a brand new world and all that stuff but when you're in the game just type in man you add username my username is gizmo831 and then the rank owner but make sure your op your name is in the op file and that's pretty much it hopefully this has helped and if it has please thumbs up took some time to do this uh... thumbs up the video um, subscribe and favorite and thanks for watching